Hey, what's going on guys? So this will be just a little look at sort of what I've done to my VRX models in the way of modifications and upgrade parts to get them to the stage where they are because I know some people may be surprised at how big I send these sometimes but I mean if you treat your cars right if you find that limit and just just hold back from the limit you'll always be right you know I've actually just come back from my last bash with the with this one here and um, I've got another broken swing arm so you know they're not invincible you just got to make sure you got the right parts on hand when you need them this video was actually suggested to me by a viewer and it's almost the perfect time for this video because I've got one pulled apart on the bench I'm having some difficulty with the differential but that's kind of a different story I've I may have done some damage in the past and it's caused these further malfunctions or problems so, so the first must have spare parts are the swing arms front and rear these are the rear these are the front and I suggest getting a few of them because they're not the strongest swing arms I'm sure you'll probably be able to strengthen them somehow put a little light a layer of aluminium across the the top of them or the bottom of them or something but you know they are very cheap so why not just get a few packets the next absolutely must have part is the front end or they call it the front chassis part I think but these break easy very very easy now you can get an aluminium one but it's very pricey and I'm not sure whether you're gonna have chassis main chassis issues once you upgrade to the aluminium part so i just suggest again getting a few of these they're only about seven dollars australian so i get five or six at a time another spare part that you probably want to get a couple pack packets of are the drive shafts they are not extremely weak but they do bend on a hard landing but the good thing is they're easy to bend back so yeah you, you won't need hundreds of spares now this spare part isn't a necessary spare part but I have found a problem and I think I may have mentioned the problem in the last video but on the steering and I'll show you on this car on the steering just above the slipper the sorry the servo saver spring there's an eclip and on my other two cars the blast and my other violence they do not have that e-clip and i'm not sure whether it's just been a bad landing that's actually popped the e-clip off or they just forgot to put it on out of the factory or something but if you want you can just buy one of these because as you can see it has got the e-clip on it so you can just replace the e-clip or the whole the whole lot Instead of replacing the steering, I actually made this little tiny washer thing and it's just made out, made out of that 5mm plastic stuff that I use for the chassis skid plates or the, the chassis guards and it's got a 9mm hole through the middle. The reason it's 9mm is because I think the internal diameter of the spring is 9mm or 10mm but the steering assembly itself, so the part that the spring goes around is eight mil or ar around about eight mil so this little washer fits perfectly around the steering assembly but it has no choice but to push down the saver spring and i wanted to show you these as well they are hsp racing rear carriers and i'm not quite sure what brand these ones are but what i ended up doing was just buying a bunch of rear carriers and seeing which cars they actually fit on and I was successful in quite a lot of brands. The only thing I found was you need little washers where your bottom hinge pins go because some of these are, are quite thin in the way of width and they won't actually fit in some of the swing arms. But that's that's easily fixed with just a couple of washers or even a couple of couple of O-rings. And it gives you a little bit of suspension in the in the carriers. In the way of modification, my own modification. This clear plastic stuff here goes all the way down to the center. It's basically just a center brace. So that, that's the front. And then I've also added one to the back. Also going all the way down. Just held on by a couple of lock nuts. And connected to the tower. The rear wing mounts just made out of that 
transparent plastic again. On the bottom I've got this, well, skid plate wheelie bar thing, just to hold it down. It is quite powerful, this car. And on the front there, I've got my little brace, just to stop that front part from snapping until I get the aluminium one. Because I have got an aluminium one on the way. And in the way of upgraded parts, there's not many that I normally would put on cars. I don't upgrade the swing arms, I don't upgrade the suspension, I don't upgrade the um, the steering hub, but I do always upgrade the steering carrier. So that would be up that way. Always, in, on every single car if I can. The rear carriers in aluminium. The shock towers. As you can see, these are the carbon fiber upgrades. And also the rear tower in carbon fiber. A front bumper is most recommended for this car. This has probably saved most of the damage because I have had some nasty, you know, nose dives and front wheel landings and stuff. So yeah, definitely get yourself a front bumper. I think this one come off the VRX Octane. Another upgraded part is this steering part. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it properly. It's either Ackerman or Arkman uh, steering part. Sorry guys, I really don't know how to pronounce it properly. I am running the steel main gear or center diff gear and I'm either running a 23 or, or 24 tooth pinion gear. But just keep in mind, if you go that big in the pinion gear, you're gonna have to extend the screw holes out. You have to drill them out quite a bit because there's no way you're going to get a 23, 24 tooth with a stock um, motor mount. This one has the 3674 2250 kV six cell capable motor, but I'm only running the WP um, SC8 speed control. So you can only go four cell with this one, maximum. This is my Blast, and this has none of the modifications on it or the upgraded parts and this has been the longest lasting one it hasn't done a diff until now um, I'm not sure whether I'll put that video up it's not much at all it's just me blowing a diff pretty much the motor in this one is the X-Team 3660 2120 kV also 6L but again just running the WP SC8 so I can't run 6L on the actual car this one would definitely be my favorite to drive just because it's so smooth on jumps and these wheels seem to give it just that perfect amount of control in the air. So, yeah, I, I really do like this one to drive. And it runs the same sort of eBay motor, except this one's a 3670, uh, 2150 kV. And I'm running completely stock gearing. And that includes the composite main gear or center diff gear. So I haven't even changed this to the metal gear yet. In the way of batteries, I can get away with running smaller batteries in the Blast because it's got the smallest setup, the smallest motor, um, you know, the lightest setup, no aluminium parts on it. This one has no al aluminium parts, but it has got a 3670 size motor, so it is quite a bit heavier, and it's also got the six cell speed control. So the Blast, I run the 3300 milliamp 50C four cells, UME power, and both my violence trucks, I run the 4,500 milliamp 60C uh, four cells, UME power. If I ever do run any of them on a six cell, this is what I'll use, the UME power 3,300 milliamp 50C. And one very important thing I almost forgot to mention, out of the box these come with plastic shock towers. This is the carbon fiber as I, I showed you before but they don't come with a lock nut on the back side of the tie rods or tie bar where they mount to the shock tower. Make sure you replace them with a longer screw and a lock nut because they do rip out very easily if you ha have a hard landing on the wheel or something. So there you go guys, just a quick look at sort of how I set up my VRX cars. I'm actually considering getting a couple more, maybe a drift car or something because I do like the VRX models and if I can get the same steering and running gear and stuff for multiple cars, I'll definitely do that. I know everyone's preferences are different when it comes to tires and servos and motors and stuff, but that's up to you what you modify or, you know, motors and stuff you use. Just make sure you get a couple of those swing arms, 
the front chassis piece and really consider a front bumper because they do save a lot of damage. And just a real quick thanks to, I think it's Ange RC. If I got the pronunciation wrong, I apologize. But um, yeah, thanks. He's the one who suggested do a video like this and I probably should start doing more of them. So yeah, cheers. If I haven't missed anything that you need to know, just leave me a comment and I'll try and get on, to on top of it as, as quick as possible. Um, so yeah, guys, that'll pretty much be it for today. Cheers. Catch us in the next video. And as always, stay safe. Thanks for watching, guys. And don't forget, like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, just leave a comment down below.